guys welcome to the dark knight show and today we are going to look at a game played by magnus carlson um the guy just played such an amazing move um it's going to be super instructive for everyone so what did magnus play here this pawn on b2 his pawn was being attacked on b2 um because opponents rook and knight both were attacking it um, a person might think I should move the knight back to protect the pawn or do something or take this pawn, you know, and protect. But Magnus plays the best move here. He just calmly brings the rook to e1 and ignores opponent's attack. Why did he do that? Uh, did he make a mistake? No, he didn't. It was all planned out. Um, if his opponent would take this pawn with the rook, Magnus would move the rook up and attack the knight. And if the knight would go back, the rook would be lost, remove the defender. That's tactic number one. Tactic number two um, is even more amazing. If opponent takes back with the knight, and that's what was played in the real game. Pause the video and try to find the move what Magnus played. Are you ready? So, the move that Magnus played was rook e1 to e4 and literally his opponent resigned here. Yes, his opponent, a 3000 grandmaster on chess.com, resigned. Why did he resign? Because his knight is trapped. Is Magnus going to capture the knight uh, very next move? No, but the knight has nowhere to go. Can't go here because of its own pawn. Can't go here because of opponent's pawn. Can't go here because of the knight and the king. That's the only square. And that square has been taken away. Say opponent plays a move like this. Does Magnus need to hurry and go after the knight? No. This knight is stranded. Can't go anywhere. So Magnus can just um, push the F pawn and destroy the pawn structure for opponent on that part of the board and slowly bring more and more pieces um, into play. Say opponent plays this move to, to attack. He would give a check. King would move. Then he would move the knight back. Say opponent plays a dummy move. Knight goes to f5 and checkmate. There you go. So overall, the point is by the time opponent would um, get his pawns like this to rescue the knight, by that point, he would checkmate his opponent most probably. That's why opponent literally resigned. Um, the moment Magnus played the rook to e4, yes. His opponent resigned so make sure to keep this idea in mind that whenever opponent's knight or your knight goes too deep in opponent's territory the chances are it might get trapped don't forget this idea amazing game by magnus and this was all played in a three minute game and he had just used um a, a minute and opponent resigned so fantastic play and guys don't forget i'm streaming a lot on twitch don't, for don't forget to follow me there because I'll play you. Yes, I'll play you live on Twitch. And my Twitch handle is the same as of YouTube. Make sure to follow me there. And I'll be streaming every single day. I'll write to stream every single day. Make sure to send me a game request the moment you see me online. And if you want to book lessons, all links are available in the description. Make sure to... Um, to set up a meeting if you want to and once again thank you so much for watching and you have a wonderful day ahead happy learning and happy playing chess bye bye for now